Reactions are on Patreon, or if you want, you can pull up your copy of Bojack Horseman Episode 6 of Season 5, Free Chero. I could really use one of those right now. I press play on it when I press play when the timer reaches zero. I might not be able to pay attention to the important core elements of the plot today. I would really like a churro, and if a churro shows up, I'll be in danger of losing focus badly. Ooh. We don't get a lot of his pre-adult flashbacks. Uh, what, what little we get that's focused on him is usually focused on something else. What the fuck? Yes. The safe driving of decades ago. The what now? Oh. Oh! I was thinking... I, I, I took it the wrong way for a second there. 108. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> what the fuck? Fuck, man. What? Eh? This is... If you could put this level of verbiage into your writing, you'd be doing great. Right. I don't get how someone could possibly maintain that attitude for years on end. I, I just don't understand. Her being absent from only the one background shot in a second here has me concerned. It had me concerned for a few episodes now. Right? She's just doing her best. She's doing her job.
that would do it. This is actually a pretty great story, though. I'll hand it to you. That was fabulous. I'm a little concerned that they haven't shown the crowd here. Unless he, maybe he's practicing, but I doubt it. Boo. Oh my god, this is going to be the, the whole episode, isn't it? I think I love this episode already. It doesn't matter what happens from here. It's uncomfortable as hell. I'm sorry I don't have more to say. Part of me wonders if this, if any of these types of stories Will Arnett, Will Arnett took from his real childhood. Not the, the horrible stuff, but, like, details. Well, that was... Okay, he's just gonna keep going. I don't really have an edge in here. <laughs> oh my god, this might really be the whole episode. <laughs> we already kind of knew that so much of what Bojack is, he formed around the, the few people he idolized, like Secretariat. But, do you hear him just come out and say it, and have such a deep introspection? 
<laughs> I only wonder if this is just the practice. I hope it's not. 809 and 321 go. And whatever the whatever the gasps gasps are is something else. This is so fucking good. They're making me watch a funeral eulogy and I'm hanging on every word. Give a pity laugh, damn it, people! Something! He lost his mom! <laughs> You'd think that the priest would have stepped in by now. Right? <laughs> like you're in front of me. <laughs> oh no. I was on a very famous TV show! Yes! <laughs> Game of Thrones has been solved! The curtains are just blue sometimes. Ah. <laughs>
Right. Oh. All right, all right. Going out the Hamilton way. In more ways than one, shit. But I guess that's a kind word. There you go, Mom. Okay. All right. You're a gigantic one. Ah! Rings house series finale vibes. Who is at this funeral? I know they're going to show it towards the end. He might be alone in this room. Possible. But not like in a practice sense, just in a literally no one showed up sense. Uh, oh, okay. What are we doing? Oh, oh, no. I thought he was inside a zoetrope for a second. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. Right. Uh, uh, I think that was more than two. I wonder if it's Todd doing the rim shots and such. No! Right? <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> right. Unless she had, like, another show to go to. <laughs> well, luckily, I wouldn't call this a sitcom. <laughs> oh no I mean, the woman at the Jack in the Box might have known you for your TV show. No, Becker's not a very good show. It, it's a good performance. I'm curious where he's going with this. Twenty-two forty-seven and three, two, one, go. 
it was exactly i was just gonna say it was missing something 2301 <laughs> three two one go Holy shit. I want to do I want to make it clear to you how weird this is making me feel. I was talking about Becker 2 days ago. Not on camera or anything like that with a person. I might be the only p wait. I guess it's less crazy cuz Ted Danson in the good place as me thinking of Ted Danson more often, but goddamn, I might be the only person in the country that was talking about Becker that recently. <laughs> Exaggeration. 2325 and 3 2 1 go <laughs> Okay Not even right now. Nah, you used that one already. Except for an open casket. Oh, God. Oh, I thought it was going to be a cigarette. Wrong funeral. <laughs> okay, didn't expect that to be the joke. <laughs> Why did no one call him on it? Again, about the outro music thing being different too often. I don't know how to feel about that episode. The fact that I was hanging on every word for the entire bit of it means it was obviously very well written. Yeah, it's phenomenally written, in fact. I don't like knowing how the episode went that we got this opening bit with uh Bojack's father just because it kind of subtracts from the episode being entirely this one singular set piece which i think is better uh, if it had been consistent i got to look up other things will our nets done because this is a phenomenal performance here. It's probably the most dialogue he put into any individual movie. Yeah, he was pretty good as Batman. He's got a lot of stuff. I won't go through it right now. It's fucked up, but entirely because, A, I've seen the show and I have largely the same opinions of the show that Pojack does. <laughs> but... <laughs> it's weird to me that the Becker... Part of it is the part that, like, smacked me <laughs> more than anything else. 
It was a great episode. It was a fan. It was an outstanding episode. But holy shit. The fact that. They made this good of an episode where nothing happened. Really? <laughs> he didn't, the funeral didn't even happen. He was in the wrong room. I got All right, the director who did the most work on this show was Amy Winfrey. Apparently, created Making Fiends way back when. Something called Germany. Uh, she's going to be directing now. I'm going to look at that. Creator now, Ra Raphael Bob Waxberg. Yeah, I, I should really check out a at least the animated stuff. I'm not sure what Tuca and Birdie's about, but it looks like it must be a uh, spin off. I would not have... I, I recognize them, but I never would have figured those two to be spin-off material. Hmm. Also, a writer for Fortnite, apparently. I think part of why this show succeeds is they really mapped out who they wanted their key characters to be pretty early on. So the directions they move in is usually they uh, they move in are all usually pretty believable. Even their more nonsense characters like Todd and Mr. Peanut Butter have a place. Next time. <laughs> 